Hello and welcome to a brief summary of some of the new features in Nodality 1.7. The first new feature is the introduction of a new type of node called a position node. Let's see how that works. If I create a new image filter of type radial gradient, you can see it's in the center. If I were to move it to the left and right, I create a new position node, then plug that position node into the position input of my radial gradient. I can now move the position node and therefore move the radial gradient. I can create a new distortion effect under distortion. Let's pick a hole, plug the gradient into the hole distortion, and you can see that the gradient wraps around that hole distortion. Now if I were to take the same position, plug it into the hole distortion, then now synchronized together. We can see another example of this. If I create an image loader, pull in a photograph from my camera roll, then plug that into a twirl distortion, like so. You can see the centre of the twirl is in the, is in the centre of the image. Create another position mode, plug that into the position of the twirl, and likewise we can use this little crosshair to move the twirl distortion. Now being nodality, these position nodes accept inputs themselves. If I create a number node, or a number dial rather, plug that into the X of the first position. Now I can use a number dial to move that first position left and right. If I plug it into the Y of the second one, the same number dial is now moving the second position up and down. Now the range of position node is from minus one to plus one. So if I create a number, number one, make it minus one, plug that into the minimum of our number dial, we can now move all the way left or right, or all the way up and down using those two buttons, and then move them like so. You may have noticed that the old um, image filter category spinner has been replaced by a callout. This makes picking new uh, filters a lot easier. There are a whole load of new filters too. For instance, there are a, a handful of new blend filters, which are like composite, but have different modes. Overlay, hue, color blend, and screen blend, you may recognize from Photoshop. We also have some new Sharpening filters, image filter, go to blur and sharpen. Now I have sharpen luminous and unsharp mask, which will help uh, sharpen images for you. Uh, there's also been a lot of work done on um, performance again. So you'll notice that dragging is a lot faster. The swiping of the detail panels is a lot faster. So overall, uh, there's quite a lot in 1.7. Uh, there's a full set of details on my blog, flexmonkey.blogspot.com. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Cheers.